Hello everybody, this is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. This is April the 2nd, 2021. So let me bring you uh, the breaking news this morning. My internet is down because my internet service is changing out their tower. So I'm having to do this on Adrian's phone so I won't really be able to access the internet till later today. So we're just going to do this short breaking up update. But it does look like the war has just started over in Ukraine um, I got some headlines off of Adrian's phone. This is just a picture that was left up on my uh, computer, uh, some Russian tanks. So what has happened, folks, is the war has started. It says they have uh, hand-to-hand -hand fighting now between Russian and Ukrainian soldiers in Donetsk. Uh, there's many soldiers wounded. Russia has started bombing uh, some of the cities in Ukraine. Uh, here's some of my notes. They, uh, one city is Pyshekvik. Uh, Krasno Gink and uh, Guvtov. I can't pronounce these. These are Ukrainian names. But according to War News 24 7, all you guys need to Google that. War News 24 7. This is the website that Hal Turner gets all his breaking news off of. It's a Greek website. You will have to translate it into English, but they are breaking all these uh, news stories. So according to War News 27, the war has begun. World War III has begun. Uh, Russia has started bombing some cities. It says uh, Ukraine responds with rocket attacks. Houses on fire. They are evacuating the area. Uh, Ukraine forces are now operating in a Vidika uh, area, ground operations uh, along the city lines of Penske. Uh, what happened is um, Joe Biden made a 30-minute, 40-minute uh, phone call with President Zelensky and gave him a, a, the okay to start this war. Also, it has been reported that they are opening up a air corridor for American fighter jets. Do you know what that means, folks? That America will be getting into this war. NATO will be getting into this war. And this is the start of World War III, I really do believe. It says U.S. Um, uh, opens a no-fly zone over Donbass so American fighter jets can enter into the uh, war and start bombing Russian forces. What does that sound like? You uh, That sounds like World War III to me. So let me... I just wrote down some notes. It says Russia is uh, ready for the Americans. It says, orders all forces in the Black Sea in the Southern Military uh, District on high alert. It says, uh, Russia uh, air, um, uh, air paratrooper forces are up and flying right now, so their airborne troops are in the air. It says, uh, Russia has started its advance uh, in Ukraine. Um, so that's the latest breaking news that I have. Like I said, I can't really... Uh, access the internet. This is just a page that was left up last night uh, on my internet. So uh, it does look like the war has started in earnest in Ukraine, that NATO will be involved, and uh, this thing is probably going to escalate very uh, quickly. But uh, as soon as I get uh, back on the internet, I will bring you a, um, a longer uh, update but uh, it just happens to be that my internet service sent out an email a couple days ago said that they're changing out their internet tower. So my internet's probably going to be down all day long. And I can only use Adrian's phone to, uh, to do updates today, probably. So God bless you guys. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming back soon. It uh, looks like it's getting real, folks. Looks like the uh, shit is finally hitting the fan here in the world. So God bless you guys, and I'll try to give you an update uh, later on today. Bye-bye.